epically awesome lore reviews photoshop tutorial i would like to let you know that this is going to be a tutorial about particles yes particles particles are something you're used to seeing in after effects but uh with the introduction of the newer uh cs's Photoshop allows particles too. Well, Photoshop has always allowed particles, but now Photoshop gives you an easy way to create beautiful, wonderful particles. All right, before that, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Tech Tech Reviews. Um, he's always been a great tech reviewer, and recently he, uh, well, something screwed up, and he deleted half his videos. And... He decided to start over. He has like three or four videos now, and he has a lot of subscribers, but I'd still like you guys to go over and subscribe to him and uh, get him motivated to make uh, a whole bunch of videos just like he had before. Alright, that's that. Now we'll go to Photoshop and begin the tutorial. Now, File, New, uh, and we'll create an image. Now, we will go to your brush tool, uh, set, set it to about size 8. Then we're going to click the brushes icon, or just go to window brush, or click F5. Now, we're going to set um, scattering. Now, scattering, here's what you're going to need to set it to. Scatter both axes. You want that disabled. Now, 1000% scatter. Count 1 and count jitter 100%. This gives it kind of a randomness. Then control, pin pressure. And then just close the brush tool. Now we're going to get this uh, um, fill bucket tool and turn the background black. Just for now. And then use your brush. And change the color to white. And ta-da! Just by painting. You have beautiful wonderful particles particles used for just about anything now what can you use particles for well one particles make great snow <laughs> and since particles are so random you can birth them in certain areas you can birth them anywhere you want and since it's set on pin pressure you can set it more in more places and it's used to create kind of an interesting effect like magical pixie crap or something like that. You can even use it for that. But just kind of a random particle setting. It's really great. It gives it, it gives something a really good vibrance. Like let's say you had a YouTube background or something like that. And you wanted to add just a little bit more vibrance to it. You want to just give it some particles like this. And it will look wonderful. Now. Let's say we have a picture like this one. All right. This picture looked great, and then you want to go blending options, and then outer glow, give it like red. Ooh, pretty. But that that's just kind of boring. I mean, what's so good about that? Now, if you click on your brush, and you add some particles. Wait, if you make like a new layer or something like that, add some beautiful particles to the outside of it. and place your layer behind yours. Now doesn't that look great? Doesn't that just bring your picture out? It, it just brings a picture out. It just like makes it stand out. And if you combine it with an outer glow, it looks even better. And even if you do, you can add some particles on your screen. They're really easy to add and just difference clouds. And you get this really cool molecular effect. I figured that out. And then just these particles, they're just there's limitless possibilities. You can do one particle at a time, or you can do a crap load of particles at a time. Anything you want. And, I'll, and you can just go into your brush settings again, and you can change the count to a whole bunch. And you get, like, a whole bunch of particles. Or you can set it to a little bit, so it only births a little bit of particles. You can change the jitter, so all the particles are the same. You can uh, make less particles. Change the scatter to axis, so it so it adds particles on both. You can make hair. Look at that hair, and it's made of particles. That's mainly for like curly hair. There's just lots of different stuff, and even if you, if you add a couple more stuff like shape dynamics, 
like this up and back to where it, back to the way it was. Uh, then you had shape dynamics and noise, wet it, uh, airbrush, smoothing, stuff like that. You get a real this really cool like transparent effect along with it, and it looks great. And this has been a very small tutorial on how to add particles into your Photoshop. Uh, Alright, thank you. Bye.